Back in the 1980s, we had a company uh, quarrying just outside uh, uh, Krugersdorp in South Africa, Hippo Quarries. And uh, they were uh, quarrying for the likes of granite, uh, or actually dolomite for, for roads and uh, tabletops, etc. And as they blasted these these cavities, these little caverns full of stalagmites, stalactites uh, uh, came out. Now in this case we have the floss ferry effect of the, the aragonite on the bottom and perched on that would be aragonite and calcite crystals uh, sitting on top of that. Quite a quite an appealing little guy. So, uh, why I say little guy, it's about uh, a thumbnail, double thumbnail, so it's not a super large piece. Lovely example of the a ragonite from the Rand London quarries in South Africa. You can actually look it up on Mindat. Um, this would be material collected in the 1980s. Of course, we don't want people running around breaking up caves to get these things. They are similar internationally, but just uh, quite a lovely example of the old Krugersdorp Brand London quarries. A ragonite, uh, little uh, two forms. The uh, I think on the cross section, not as yellow as the ones from from Mexico, for instance. Uh, ones from Mexico have lovely patterning. Or even the Peruvian ones, some of them are, are even pink, right? Acrosite maybe even. But this is just aragonite, and then on top would be calcite or another generation of aragonite. Different crystal form, of course.